Hello and welcome to Build On Ideas Institute and this is Six and Sunny. This is the seventh part of the Blender Beginners tutorial series and in this tutorial I'll be explaining to you how to make uh, the customization as a default so that when you start using Blender each time you don't have to customize it again and again. So you can customize even the render settings in uh, Blender 2.8 so you can see it step by step how do I do it and I'm going to do a kind of a setting which can be helpful in architectural visualization. So let's go into that. So when you come to Blender, you can see that by default there is a light, there's a camera, there's a cube. I don't want this light and camera when I start Blender. I just want this cube because we start modeling in Blender. And then uh, I'll do some customization in these tabs so that uh, we don't have to do all the customization again and again. So this is basically having the render, the scenes, uh, the output properties. All the properties are out here in the properties panel. So what you do is like uh, just uh, go after doing all this customization. What you do is like just go into file and then come to default and then save startup file so that you have all the defaults been uh, which you have customized been set to the default. That's how you do it. Now coming to one by one tab, I'll just click on this and then click on tab go into this this is the workspace settings option and then if you go into that you have the options and click on auto merge to make sure that when you start drawing something you start from somewhere and then from there you just start adding something and then end up in the same area so that you have two vertices those two vertices gets merged together when you click this auto merge uh, option being ticked so you, you make sure that this auto merge has been ticked so that you get the first vertex and this last vertex being merged together uh, automatically. So that's how you do it. Now coming to the object mode, go to the scene settings and by default you can see that uh, it has been the, the, the render engine being used is EV. By default for architecture visualization I use uh, what you call the cycles render engine. So I'll just convert it into cycles and then you have a lot of other options coming in. So you can see the sampling rate is 128 for render and for viewport it is 32. If you increase this you get better results in uh, rendering. But the only thing is like if you increase this value it takes more render time. So make sure that uh, uh, you keep it to the optimum so that you get the best quality at the right time. And if you're coming to uh, coming down the light paths, you just have to make this as two, and then coming to the transparency also four, and then uh, the transmission as well as four. And now coming down once again, just come here. You have the color management. In this, it is basically set to filmic, and filmic helps us to get uh, a kind of a result in which you don't have any any uh, overlighting or burns in in the render. So, uh, but I use standard because this gives a brighter result when you make something. So I'll take that and then coming to the uh, output properties, the basically uh, by default it is 1920 by 1080 which is a full HD resolution. I'm going to make increase this by 3600 by 2400 which gives a better print results. And then uh, if you come here you can see that there is an output uh, path which has been set here also the, the kind of uh, uh, the type of file so that I'm just converting this to JPG uh, and then increasing the output quality to 100% so that's what basically it is coming here into the layer properties um, you have to click the denoising so that when you have the results render output you don't have any noise or pixels in that the denoising helps us to reduce this a lot and then coming to the scenes you can see that the units has been set to meters by default I'm just converting it to centimeters and then uh, I think I've uh, made some of the basic defaults which is required for architectural visualization I am basically an interior designer and I'm also an architectural visualizer so uh, I basically use this settings which I have created right now and use this for architectural visualization and I get very good output results uh, to show it to the clients and get the, uh, the approvals. So after doing all this customization, come here and then what to do is like just go to the defaults and save it as startup file. Save startup file. Now when once you are finished with this, if you close this and then open Blender once again, you can see that all the defaults which you have created out here remains the same and then you can start using Blender the next time when you open Blender 
and start using it without doing any customization again and again. Hope this tutorial was helpful to you. If you like this video, kindly give us a thumbs up and please do share it. Also, please put your queries as a comment below. Also, please do subscribe our channel and click on the notification link next to it so that you get our next video. Thank you.